You're listening to the audio production of Anxious for Nothing, Finding Calm in a Chaotic World by Max Licato, published by Thomas Nelson, and read by Ben Holland. Chapter 1. Less Fret, More Faith It's a low-grade fear, an edginess, a dread, a cold wind that won't stop howling. It's not so much a storm as the certainty that one is coming, always coming. Sunny days are just an interlude. You can't relax, can't let your guard down. All peace is temporary, short-term. It's not the sight of a grizzly, but the suspicion of one, or two, or ten. Behind every tree, beyond every turn, inevitable. It's just a matter of time until the grizzly leaps out of the shadows, bears its fangs, and gobbles you up, along with your family, your friends, your bank account, your pets, and your country. Oh, there's trouble out there. So you don't sleep well. You don't laugh often. You don't enjoy the sun. You don't whistle as you walk. And when others do, you give them a look. That look. That are you naive? Look. You may even give them a word. Haven't you read the news and heard the reports and seen the studies? Airplanes fall out of the sky. Bull markets go bare. Terrorists terrorize. Good people turn bad. The other shoe will drop. Fine print will be found. Misfortune lurks out there. It's just a matter of time. Anxiety is a meteor shower of what-ifs. What if I don't close the sale? What if we don't get the bonus? What if we can't afford braces for the kids? What if my kids have crooked teeth? What if crooked teeth keep them from having friends, a career, or a spouse? What if they end up homeless and hungry, holding a cardboard sign that reads, My parents couldn't afford braces for me? Anxiety is trepidation. It's a suspicion, an apprehension. Life in a minor key with major concerns. Perpetually on the pirate ship's plank. You're part Chicken Little and part Eeyore. The sky is falling, and it's falling disproportionately on you. As a result, you are anxious. A free-floating sense of dread hovers over you. A call across the heart. A nebulous hunch about things that might happen sometime in the future. Anxiety and fear are cousins, but not twins. Fear sees a threat and Sample complete. Ready to continue?